So welcome guys back to another episode of Arsenal Transfer News Daily. We are back again with another video, another day, and we're talking about another swap deal. And this time it includes Matteo Guendouzi, as apparently Lequipe, a very reliable source in France, has suggested that PSG still want to sign Matteo Guendouzi after reports were suggesting a week or so ago that, you know, PSG weren't interested in Matteo Guendouzi because of Arsenal's price tag. But now Paris Saint-Germain have gone back in for Matteo Guendouzi and have said, Arsenal, do you want Julian Draxler for Matteo Guendouzi? The amount of times who've been linked with Julian Draxler is actually weird. It's actually weird. The amount of times we've been linked with this geezer. Literally, he's only 26 years old, which really surprises me because it feels like we've been linked with him for like 30 odd years, man. Literally, oh my God. But would I swap Matteo Guendouzi for Julian Draxler? The answer is no. Julian Draxler, no, no, no. If you asked me a few years ago, the answer was no. Ever since we were linked with Draxler, I would have said no. I just don't think he's all that. When he was at Wolfsburg, he was quite a good player. You know, people were likening him to, you know, Kevin De Bruyne, etc., etc. But, you know, he's not been that good at Paris Saint-Germain. Or is he still at Paris Saint-Germain? I'm pretty sure he is, obviously. Um, he has gone on loan to Wolfsburg, I think. And uh, he did all right there. Came back and uh, he's not done very well at Paris Saint-Germain. He's really barely played a role. He's quite a decent technical player and he'll be good for a team like Leeds probably but we do need to get Matteo Guendouzi off the books now Draxler uh I ain't too keen on Draxler so I think I think we just need to tell Paris Saint-Germain that if you want Guendouzi you just have to pay the money maybe if Paris Saint-Germain can sell Draxler for a decent chunk of money then they can try and get um, Guendouzi in through the door maybe you know initial loan deal plus an obligation to buy because that's what we seem to be doing with Lucas Torreira as well so it seems quite possible that you know uh, they could sell Draxler to someone like Leeds United who look to be interested in Draxler as well and maybe using those funds we could try and um you know, sorry, Paris Saint-Germain could try and sign Matteo Guendouzi off us, which again for us would be quite good because we are looking to try and offload him. Mikel Arteta has let Matteo Guendouzi back into training, so maybe he could feature, who knows, but I don't think he'll feature again under Arsenal or at least under under Mikel Arteta. And um, if you ask me, Draxler for Guendouzi is a no, 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 no. Please do not sign Julian Draxler, please. We didn't sign him four years ago when he was a much younger player. So why do we need this guy now? We've been linked to him basically every single transfer window. And it seems like we never get a deal done for this geezer. Seriously, I don't think we should be signing him. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think we should be signing Julian Draxler, especially in replacement, you know, for an exchange deal for one of the brightest youngsters in Europe? Even though Guendouzi does have a bit of an attitude problem, I still think he's a very quality player that can still bring a lot to a team if he sorts out his attitude issues. So I still think Guendouzi is a top, top player, but I just don't think he'll work for him now at Arsenal, especially under a manager he's now fallen out with twice. So it doesn't look like there's going to be a way back in for him. Obviously, Arteta has come out and said that there is a clean slate for him. I don't believe that BS, to be honest, literally. He's only saying that so, you know, he, Arsenal's hand doesn't get loosened in negotiations because if Arteta were to come out and say that Guendouzi, you know, we want to sell him, we want to sell him, then a team like Villarreal could come and say, look, you clearly don't want the player. You've clearly come out and said, we do not want the player. So we're just going to offer less so you accept it that's the kind of things people do so Arsenal maybe Arteta has just been told to say that that he you know he's got another lifeline or whatnot but maybe he hasn't I'm not too sure but Draxler I don't want Draxler I don't think you guys either want Draxler if you want Draxler then not gonna lie you've got quite a weak mind but that is the news that Paris Saint-Germain are offering Julian Draxler to try and sign Matteo Guendouzi but you know the main thing is Paris Saint-Germain are still interested in Matteo Guendouzi Next piece of news is on Hossim Awaz. We have received a significant transfer boost in, in a bid to try and sign the player. Now, this boost comes in the form of Lucas Paqueta, as apparently Leon are trying to sign Lucas Paqueta, you know, as a replacement for either Hossim Awa or Jeff Ren Adelaide, as reported by L'Equipe, followed up by Get French Football News. Now, again, quite both quite reliable sources over there in France and quite highly respected over there. So I do kind of believe this. Now, Lucas Paqueta obviously plays in the exact same position, I do believe, as Hossim Awa in number eight slash number 10. So um, and Ren, Ren Adelaide also plays in a similar position to both of those players, Awa and um, Paqueta. So... And uh, there are reports coming out from France also that Leon signing Paqueta, which they who they really want, will is probably in preparation as they are looking to sell Awa or Jeffrey Adelaide. 
So this could suggest that they are preparing for life without either of these pl- two players. You know, no club has really been interested in Jeffrey and Adelaide. So maybe Hossim Awar being linked away to Arsenal mo- most significantly could be in a result of that. Maybe they're preparing for life without him. So that's why they're going after Piqueta. But I see why they're going after him in in sense because, you know, so many clubs are after Awar. So if he does leave, they have to look for a replacement. And Piqueta does look like the replacement for uh, Awar. And uh, Leon are really looking at him to try and bring him in. But obviously Arsenal being the club that they are trying to wind things down, trying to, you know, get the most minimal fee they can for a player. You know, they're taking so much time with us. So will they end up signing him? Again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. The stance is Arsenal are monitoring the situation. They've had one bid rejected and the Leon Sporting Director came out and said that we don't want Gwen Doozy clearly. And I'm pretty sure in that phone call, which looks like to be around three to four weeks ago, because that's when the first um, sort of contact came when Arsenal offered Gwen Doozy. So I think that phone call must have been like a month ago and which which was said um that you know he would have been a certain price xyz and edu's like okay this is the price so why haven't we met the price in the last three four weeks nothing has really changed in the last three four weeks you know we've not sold anyone so we've not raised any funds so why aren't we matching that price for hasim Awar? i don't understand it so we really need to get a move on with this award deal because i'm getting really worried it's nearly the start of the season and we've not brought in you know our net spend is around 22 one million pounds we're not spending any money it's really worrying and uh, teams like you know leeds villa at uh, Everton even spending a lot of money improving their positions you know Everton they're improving on mid- their midfield something we need to do and uh, it's very worrying because if we don't get party and a one now I think it's going to be very disappointing because we're longing this out very very much so I think we need to get a move on pay the money and sign Hossam Awas but that is the news that we have received a significant boost as Leon are trying to look for a replacement for Awa by looking at Lucas another piece of transfer news that could be related to our um, transfer window is the fact that David Luiz is going to be out for six weeks now this is quite detrimental because Mikel Arteta does value him as an important part of our squad you know he got the new contract which you know allowed him to stay for another year now this could be you know a, a direct effect of the U-turn that was made from Rob Holding because you know Louis being injured means Arsenal would need Rob Holding to be in that position because Rob Holding as you know has been playing so well in that back three so that is probably one of the reasons that Arsenal are keeping Rob Holding and not letting him go out on loan to Newcastle. So that is the news that David Luiz has been injured for six weeks and that will mean that we do not sell Rob Holding in this Chelmer transport window. Next piece of news which I've talked about before I just want to go over again is the fact that there are more reports coming out suggesting that Bamiyang has agreed a £350,000 worth deal to uh, stay at Arsenal for another three years. I didn't put this in the title because you know I don't want to repeat stuff that I've already said before. You know it might get me a lot of views but you know I'm not interested in that. I want to give you guys the right information but the one interesting thing here is that it's more money than originally stated. Now, first of all, the news said before, a few weeks ago, that Arsenal agreed to deal 250000 Now, there are reports coming out that it's around closer to £375,000 a week which is more than Mesut Ozil, £25,000 more than Mesut Ozil. So we are offering Aubameyang quite a lengthy contract. Now, will it be worth it? I think it will be because he is such a high, high quality player. And I really rate him. I think all Arsenal fans rate him and would like him to stay. I think it'd be more expensive trying to get a 100 million rated player, you know, instead of uh, signing Aubameyang to a new deal because the amount of goals this guy brings us is huge to the club. And hopefully, you know, this can be uh, announced in the next one or two days. And uh, I'm very hopeful that it can be announced. And also his counterpart, Lacazette, there is some news on him but we will be touching on that in the next episode so stay tuned see you guys in the next one bye bye